Welcome to the first Monday mycotoxin and crop report of the 2024 season. Crop and weather data is sourced from the USDA. Overall, winter wheat acres planted are down 8% from last year for a total of approximately 33.8 million acres. 71% of the crop has been harvested, 18 percentage points ahead of last year. Harvest progressed by 19 percentage points or more in Colorado, Nebraska, Michigan, and Oregon. Rainy conditions during the flowering stages in parts of the Midwest, Northeast, Pacific Northwest, and Great Plains could lead to higher incidences of Don and Xarelinone contamination. Don has been reported in the following states. Harvest reports from Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, and Nebraska show low levels of Don and an overall higher than last year average yield. Barley acreage is down 18% from the previous year at 2.56 million acres. 76% of barley has reached the headed stage, 14 percentage points ahead of last year. 74% of barley acreage was rated in good to excellent condition, 22 percentage points above the same time last year. Hurricane barrel and additional excess precipitation brought higher than average rainfall to many regions including the Mississippi Valley, Great Lakes, parts of the Southern Plains, Southeast, and Southwest. As barley moves into the heading stage, areas with higher precipitation could be more susceptible to Don and Xarelinone. Spring wheat acres planted are estimated to be up 1% from the 2023 estimate at 11.3 million acres. 76% of the spring wheat crop has reached the headed stage, 6 points behind last year. 77% is in good to excellent condition, 26 points above the previous year. Corn acres planted are down 3% from last year at an estimate of 91.5 million acres. 41% has reached the silking stage, one point above last year. 68% of the corn crop is rated in good to excellent condition. Here are the states with the highest percentage of corn in good to excellent condition as well as the states with corn crop in poor to very poor condition. As corn continues into the silking stage, dry weather in the eastern corn belt and southeastern U.S. and rainy conditions in the northwestern corn belt will be monitored for impact on mycotoxin contamination. Interested in participating in our report? Visit our website to report mycotoxin results from your area anonymously and earn a free shipping code on your next order. Visit neogen.com slash mycotoxin crop report to submit your result and subscribe to the report. Thank you for listening and we'll see you next week.